All right, hello, and this is uh, Inside Tech, and uh, today I got a little treat. I got a uh, Infinia um, LG 50-inch uh, plasma TV, and what I'm going to do here is uh, take out the back cover, and we're going to check out to see what this thing's made of and the quality of the components inside. So instead of me um, filming all these screws being taken out, give me a small break, and I'll be right back. Hey, this is Inside Tech. Uh, back at you, and I got the back panel off this 50-inch um, plasma uh, LG. I believe it's an Infinia. Um, and first thing uh, I notice here, it's got a couple things here. Um, it says the model is a, um, a PD P50R1000, and it's made in uh, Mexico. Let's see, and it uh, consumes 450 watts. So yeah, it takes a little bit of juice to get it going and keep it running. Um, so now overall it's a pretty good unit. It's laid out pretty good. Um, the least amount of wires and um, uh, things plug into each other. Um, pretty efficient as you can see here. And uh, a lot of ribbon cables and this, this thing's actually, they, they put a lot of quality parts in there and quality work in here. It's clean. Um, you can tell it's, um, you can tell it's quality. So what we got here is a, um, uh, in the middle is a main power supply. And um, in the middle over here we've got your actual uh, controller which is basically the heart of the system um, uh, on this side here we got the uh, converter and this is um, everywhere your uh, DVI and all that stuff like that plugs into <coughs> and um, it's got digital tuner um, it's laid out pretty good looks like it's pretty hefty here um, got a power supply on the uh, right hand side and I'm not sure I think that's probably like a backlit a light on the back of the display somehow I'm guessing and the um, on the left hand side here this is obviously um, everything to do with the actual plasma um, itself as you can see all the controllers this is a huge power supply uh, switching unit here um, and the controller actually plugs into um, that uh, power supply unit there um, and you can see all these different um, it's like little IC chips. These are the actual the brains that control the actual uh, plasma itself. So, what's really interesting is um, uh, you take a look down at the bottom here, and you'll see these um, little little discs here. And uh, if you look really close at it, they're actual uh, speakers. So what we got here is um, two speakers on the uh, left and two speakers on the right and um, they're encased in a little um, a little housing there so it gives it some um, some depth to the sound and um, it's not too bad layout. The only thing um, I probably would have uh, I didn't really agree on was probably I would have insulated here you see this the power cord comes in and they tape the power cord right to the, to the chassis here and then the um, ribbon cable goes from the converter to the controller and um, it's got a little bit of aluminum on it so it kind of um, you know deflects the uh, radiation there um, but um, and I wouldn't have taped it to the frame I would have insulated the whole wire this speed is so close to the actual converter uh, cable um, and then here uh, on this side it's not so bad um, it's touching but it's not that bad um, on this side, the wire here, uh, you know, this is a high voltage wire, and they got it sitting right on the chassis on the sharp edge, and it's not um, uh, insulated, and it's sitting right on the edge, and that um, over time could actually wear it wear and actually uh, ground out and cause problems. But uh, overall, it's a pretty good looking unit. Uh, I was kind of surprised to see that it was actually all made in um, in Mexico there, but. Um, it's not bad. So, get a look at the, uh, the controller unit. You can see like the uh, main uh, module on there. You can see the memory on there. You can see over here the uh, converter. It's pretty beefy. It's pretty intense actually. They put a lot of um, thought into this. They've got a memory on this side too over here. And um, the BIOS and all that stuff like that. And that's about it. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, as much as I did. I looked on the internet and I couldn't find anything that showed um, ripping apart a plasma display and showing the insides. 
and the quality of the unit. So this is Inside Tech. See ya.